हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम राजेंद्र कोरंदे फ्रॉम टीच इजी इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी सॉल्व द एग्जांपल्स ऑन सॉलिड सिमेट्रिकल सेक्शंस हियर इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल सॉल्व द एग्जांपल्स ऑन हॉलो सिमेट्रिकल सेक्शंस सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग द टाइम लेट अस स्टार्ट फॉर द एग्जांपल्स The first one is calculate MI about centroidal axis of a hollow rectangular section having outer dimensions 240 mm by 300 mm and inner dimension 120 mm by 240 mm. Now always keep in mind the bigger dimension is depth. So this is 240 mm. This is 300 mm. This is 120 mm. This is 240 mm. Now always keep in mind hollow circular section. This is symmetrical section because these two rectangles are concentric. Okay, so it is symmetrical about x axis and y y axis. So for solving this, it will be definitely very simple. From outer rectangle, you will deduct the internal rectangle, inner rectangle, and you will get i x x and i y y. now let us say that let us collect the data capital b that is the width of outer rectangle what is width 240 mm small b that is the width of inner rectangle that is 120 mm depth of outer rectangle is 300 mm and the depth of inner rectangle is 240 mm now here we are asked to find out moment of inertia about the centroidal axis that is x x axis and y y axis now mind well just now i have told you that the external and internal rectangles are symmetrical about both x x and y y axis so you can directly deduct the mi of inner rectangle from the mi of outer rectangle it is not necessary to use parallel axis theorem in this case at all so what will be mi i x x is equal to 1 by 12 i will write common what is i x x of the rectangle b d q by 12 we have taken common so for outer rectangle it is capital b capital d q minus for inner rectangle it is small b small d q by 12 it is common by 12 i am again telling you as the two rectangles are same that is this and this thickness and this and this thickness is same you can apply directly without using parallel axis theorem so let us substitute the values 1 by 12 into bracket come on 240 into capital d cube means 300 cube minus i will write down what is small b 120 into what is small d 240 cube bracket complete using the scientific calculator the value of i x x comes out to be 401.76 into 10 raised to 6 mm raised to 4 this is the first answer highlight it this is moment of inertia about horizontal centroidal axis 
Now, can you tell me what will be movement of inertia about y y? Again, it is same. I y y for outer rectangle minus I y y for inner rectangle. So, I y y is equal to 1 by 12 common into bracket. Come on, tell me into capital B cube minus small d into small b cube. Now the next step I will leave for you, put the values of d and b and using scientific calculator, calculate its value and it comes out to be 311 into 10 raised to 6. Don't forget to write the unit mm raised to 4. So in this manner, we have completed the solution of the first example. Mind well, if this thickness and this thickness is different, and this thickness and this thickness is different, then you cannot directly use this formula. You will have to use parallel axis theorem in that case. So this is Ixx and Iyy. BD cube by 12 for outer rectangle minus BD cube by 12 for inner rectangle. DB cube by 12 for outer rectangle minus DB cube by 12 for inner rectangle. Okay. Now let us proceed for the second example. Calculate MI of a hollow circular section having external diameter 200 mm and wall thickness 50 mm about its centroidal axis. Again this is hollow section but it is symmetrical because throughout the thickness is same. Therefore outer circle and inner circle both are symmetrical about xx and yy axis. So here also you can directly use the formula for outer rectangle minus formula for inner rectangle. No need of using parallel axis theorem. So let us start with the solution. External diameter capital D is 200 mm. Thickness is 50 mm. So let us calculate the internal diameter D. Mind well internal diameter D is always external diameter minus 2 times T. This is very important. Many of the students commit the mistake over here because you cannot deduct the thickness on one side only. Thickness is on both the sides. So if you deduct the 2 times thickness, this small d will come out to be 100 mm. Now the example is very simple. You have to find out Ixx and Iyy. So Ixx and Iyy in this case will be equal because a circle is always symmetrical and inner and outer circles are both symmetrical about xx and yy axis. So Ixx equals to Iyy equals to pi by 64 I will take common for outer circle it is capital D raised to 4 minus for inner circle it is small d raised to 4. Let us put the values. So this will be equals to pi upon 64 into bracket. What is capital D? Capital D is 200 mm raised to 4 minus small d is 100 mm. Using the scientific calculator, calculate its value and it comes out to be 
73.63 into 10 raised to 6 mm raised to 4. Highlight the answer. Do you follow this? Let us go for the next. Calculate MI of a hollow square section of side 100 mm and uniform thickness of 25 mm about its base. Now let us say that P Q R S is the square section. Again in this problem also you will find that the uniform thickness of 25 mm is given that is this thickness, this thickness, this thickness and this thickness all are uniform. It means that the outer square and inner square are symmetrical about both xx and yy axis. Therefore, for finding out ixx and iyy, it will be outer square minus inner square. Okay. So, let us say that the side of outer side of the square is capital A that is 100. Now, this thickness is 25, this thickness is 25. Therefore, small a again will be capital A minus, come on, 2 times t and it comes out to be, yes, how much it will be? 100 minus 2 times 25, that is 50. So, it will come out to be 50. Now, in all the three cases, you will see that outer rectangle and inner rectangle are symmetrical. So, just outer minus inner is successful. Outer circle minus inner circle, both are symmetrical. So, I will be I for outer minus I for inner. Here also, outer square minus inner square. So, for Ixx and Iyy, it will be directly deduction. You will not have to use parallel axis theorem. But in this problem, we are asked to calculate Ami of hollow square section about its base. That is, uh, we want to find out I about SR. So, for finding out I about base, you will have to use parallel axis theorem. For Ixx, it is not necessary. You can see that base is symmetrical to Ixx. So, first find out Ixx and then we will eat. Use parallel axis theorem to find out at base. Okay. So, what is Ixx? Come on. Outer square and inner square are symmetrical. So, 1 by 12 I will take common. What is Mi of a square? A raised to 4. Capital A because it is side of outer square minus small a raised to 4. What is small a side of inner square? Substitute the values. What you will get? Let us see. Come on. It will be 100 raised to 4 minus 50 raised to 4 divided by 12 common using scientific calculator you will find out it comes out to be 7.81 into 10 raised to 6 mm raised to so, unless you will calculate I x x, you cannot calculate I about base because using parallel axis theorem, you will have to shift it. Okay. So, it is not because of I x x we are using parallel axis theorem, because of base we are shifting. So, do not get confused. All these figures are symmetrical. So, nowhere we have used parallel axis theorem. Here we are using parallel axis theorem because we don't want to calculate only about centroidal axis, about base. 
So about sideroidal axis, we have no not used parallel axis theorem, but for base we will use it. So by parallel axis theorem. What is parallel axis theorem? This axis is parallel to xx axis. This. So, ISR is equal to IXX plus area into H square. What will be H? Right. H will be because this is 100. So, this will be 50. Okay. So, ISR is equal to IXX plus area I will not write only a because you will get confused a, a is used into h square what is the value of h in this case value of h is this much which is nothing but 100 divided by 2 so let us put the values Ixx is equal to 7.81 into 10 raised to 6 plus second term I will write in bracket area we will have to calculate what is the area area of outer square minus area of inner square so 100 square minus 50 square into h square what is h h is 50 how we have calculated 50 that is 100 divided by 2 don't forget to square it Except we have already calculated area into h square this is hollow square so area of hollow square is area of outer square minus area of inner square into h square what is h h is the distance between two parallel axes this xx is there and sr so this will be the value of h as this is 100 h will be 100 by 2 and square of that and you will find that using calculator if you calculate this value you will get it as 25.56 into 10 raised to 6 mm raised to 4 therefore friends in this lecture we solved the problems of hollow sections but they were symmetrical section so we have solved three problems that is for hollow rectangle section, hollow circular section and hollow square section. Do you understand it? Please do it by heart. Next time we will go for movement of inertia of substandard structural section. Thank you.